Hello everybody and welcome back to some more BD Armoury fun and games. Now today I wanted to uh, to take us back to our roots, right back to the very first video I ever did on this channel and we're going to be doing a, a simple attack the KSC scenario because uh, well we've moved on a bit since then, we've got new fighters, we've got new ground units so uh, I just wanted to play through this one again and see how those what, uh, what, what differences those new craft make. Um, our attack force will be identical to the one we had in that first video. I'll be controlling this uh, Wyvern ground attack craft, and this will be escorted by two of these Cyclone fighters. Now, uh, where the differences really kick in is with the uh, KSC defences. Uh, the first line of defence will be two of these Clubtail fighters, my brand new fighters, and uh, well, that'll be three against two, so that's not fair. So we've got a couple of these ground units as well. We start with uh, this sort of simple anti-aircraft missile unit, and that's joined by one of these goalkeeper turret equipped units just to keep us on our toes so the uh, the cyclones will try and deal with those club tails while the wyvern takes out these ground units um, or conversely these uh, these club tails will shred everything from the air and these units will shred everything from the ground we'll uh, we'll have to see how that one goes anyway i will get my attack force in the air and i will see you again in a second so here we go, coming into with uh, coming within range of the KSC very shortly. Um, God, this poor dragonflies the last time we did this. They just got absolutely shredded. Hopefully this will be more of a fight. Uh, I'm going to try and dispatch those two ground targets with my wyvern, whilst the cyclones hopefully take, uh, take out these club tails, who should be taking off very shortly. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to do this one, sort of a... Sort of a, a return to the old concept is because, well, we're going to be uh, doing some new stuff in the... Uh, going to be branching out a little bit with the BD Armory videos in the near future. There's still going to be the same old stuff that looks like there's some movement on the ground, so I'm going to release my wingmen. Yeah, I don't want to oversell it, but there'll be uh, there'll be some new stuff in here, as well as the uh, the same old the old favourites. I'm gonna need some weapons up. Let's um, let's ditch a oh crap that's a missile. Far another harm missile. There we go. So hopefully that's that one taken care of, whichever one it is, and I'm going to go for a few Mavericks. Oh, this Wyvern's squirrely today. Just to make sure. Now we're going to have to see how those two... Uh, how those two harm missiles get on. Here comes another missile. Popping countermeasures. It looks like the harms went for the... mostly for the gun. So I am going to want to fire if my wyvern will stop squirrelling around. I am going to want to go for a few more mavericks. That gun's still operational though. I think the missile unit has stopped firing missiles. Nope, here comes another one. My god, the frame rate with all these craft on screen. It looks like he's taken a heavy hit. Uh, oh, and one of my cyclones is down. That is not good news. Um, hmm. See if we can pick up that. Um, see if I can use my uh, FLIR targeting ball to uh, oh, to pick up that gun unit because that is going to be a pain. Just need to get rid of that now. And oh, I'm going quite fast. Oh, and I strayed within range of that um, that uh, that turret. So just me and one cyclone. Can uh, can my can my cyclones fend off those uh, club tails for long enough? Here we go. 
last of my mavericks on that uh, on that uh, goalkeeper turret and uh, screw it a couple of hellfires for good measure. And I was not paying attention. I was, uh, I was very much in the sights of. Oh, and I get absolutely shredded. How's my uh, run remaining cyclone doing? You are not doing too well at all. Ah, uh, firing and missiles. How are the club tells doing? This guy is. Well, he's not having a good time of it. He's. Kind of trying to shake himself apart. That is bizarre. He has got seriously messed up. But it is um, it's this club tail coming into uh, coming in on this cyclone now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I think this has gone for the uh, for the defenders. Well, it's nice to see a turnabout in fortunes. Uh, some new and improved craft actually. Um, able to fight off these attackers for once. Oh, come on, get that kill. Valentina. Finish, uh, who's off? Who's in the other one? Valnand. Finish him off. He's certainly making a good go of it. Oh, but there goes some more bits. And surely he's not long for the, uh, for the world. No, nope, he's still flying though. Surely this is your opportunity, Valentina. Come on. And that looks like that. It looks like that is that. Well, yeah, turn around for the books. We have uh, one club tail, the sole survivor. Valentina, the sole survivor of this fight. Right, so I was not successful in my attempts there. Um, hmm. Tell you what, let's go and see how the AI does at the same thing. Right, so once again, just about getting to within range. Uh, once we are within range, once those uh, club tails are taken off, I'm just going to uh, switch everything to the uh, to the AI and let that uh, let that sort itself out. Let's. Uh, they are taking off, so now we just. Put guard mode on and kick back and relax. Let's get rid of that. Uh, get rid of some unnecessary windows. Oh, that is loud. Normally I turn the volume down, but I seem to have forgotten to do that this time around. So breaking low for missiles. The uh, the wyvern not going straight for the ground units. It doesn't look like is he. Are they going to try and finish off the uh, finish off the uh, aircraft before they uh, before they go after those ground units? That's a lot of explosions. Is everybody okay? Everybody's fine. At least for the moment, those club tails seem to be. Is that debris? That looks like debris. Oh, and one of the club tails is out of here already. Still got some missiles. Still firing some missiles. But his wingman is doing fine. That club tail. Oh, and now the gun unit on the ground opens up. The attacker's straying a little too close for comfort. So that is that one of the cyclones. One of the cyclones has taken a hit. He's lost. He's lost almost everything. That's going to be difficult to control. Valmond Kerman. Yeah, not a, not a successful outing for you. And... That, yeah, that's that's that club tail down and out. How will his wingman get on? He has a wyvern and two cyclones. He has one of the cyclones in his sights. It's it just goes from bad to worse for you, Will Valnan, sorry. Ooh, but he's just he's just flying too slowly. Does he have a? Uh, He's turned off his engines. Has he run out of fuel? He can't run out of fuel. What was that? How's our wyvern getting on? Ooh, our two active attackers flying in formation. That's beautiful. 
missile coming in a little close for comfort. Ah, now it looks like uh, now it looks like our wyvern has finally pulled his finger out. He's got the harm missile selected, but uh, he doesn't have time to uh, doesn't have time to fire it before he has to break off. I'm not sure if there's a missile incoming. It looks like it. Back to our cyclone. Not you. You. Still flying in formation. Beautiful to see. Where is that club tail? That club tail pulling high. Looking to drop down from above. Has a target, fires a missile. Ooh, I'm not sure if he's oh he's he's been he's been hit. Sorry, Obo Kerman, she's been hit. Or Obo or Obo, how do you reckon you pronounce that? Um, that wyvern, how's that doing? E. Jebediah. Jebediah at the controls. Surely if anybody can do it, then it's Jebediah. But now he has to break off again for missiles incoming. That is... Oh, you're hanging in there, Valland, aren't you? Trying to provide a bit of a distraction whilst the others are... Whilst the others uh, finish the job, you... Your sacrifice shall not be forgotten. I mean, he's not, he's not dead yet, but it's, it's probably only a matter of time. Oh! And that club tail was forced into the sea. That is an unexpected twist. So now it is just the ground targets that the AI have to, has to deal with. Oh, that wyvern gets scorched. He's he's firing he's firing missiles in the wrong direction. Yeah, the AI has a habit of doing that sometimes. What's that? Is that the That's another club tail, I don't That's the other cyclone, sorry. Hopefully drawing a bit of fire from those uh from that missile unit. Can we actually get some fire onto those ground units now? Oh, the missile coming in, that looks close. Oh, I think that was caught by the by the chaff though. That gun is trying to fire at something. Oh, and now the harm missiles go in. Now the harm missiles are. Finally we get some fire onto those ground units. Actually, what I'm going to do is missiles per target. I'm going to pop you up a bit because otherwise we'll be waiting here all day. Oh, and there goes a hit on. That's that's the well. That's the goalkeeper turret gone. That's some heavy damage. That, I think, is the missile unit out of here. So that is a convincing victory for the attackers there. So uh, I guess the moral of today's story is obvious. Never send a man to do an AI's job. Uh, well, that or take out the aircraft first. Take your pick. Uh, anyway, that's all for today, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, just been a relatively short one today. Uh, next time, we'll be taking a look at a subscriber craft. But uh, it's not as you might be picturing it. Uh, well, all will be revealed when we get there, so until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.